Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How's it going? I've got a great video all about scaling, my favorite part of the e-commerce business, really of any online business. Scaling, I'm gonna talk about the opportunities of scaling and I'm gonna talk about some of the pitfalls or the risks of scaling. And through this video, you're gonna truly understand some of the different ways to scale and some of the risks that come along with it. So definitely pay attention here. Scaling is one of the most important parts of a business and I actually call it the reward of doing a good job because you're only gonna be scaling when things are working. So let me define what scaling is first, right? First of all, Scaling 101 says when something is working, do more of it. So some examples in your e-commerce business, right? For example, when your ads are working, show them to more similar people, right? When your products are selling, show the product to more similar people, right? That's the most traditional form of scaling, right? You have something that's working, you're gonna show it to more people. It could also work in terms of your systems, right? Or your partners. Let's say you have a great print on demand partner, or maybe you're working with multiple partners and you notice that one is really doing a great job, super fast shipments, great products, work with them more, send them more orders. Again, the idea of scaling is that you're gonna double down on things that are working. And the real benefit of scaling is that you're not doing this blind, right? You're only gonna be scaling when you have hindsight, right? Hindsight is always 20-20 and you're gonna be able to tell without a doubt when something is working. You're not just gonna scale blindly. So a great example of scaling for e-commerce, right? Scaling via ads, right? This could be Facebook ads, could be um, Instagram influencer shout outs or promoted posts, could be YouTube ads, Google ads, whatever it is, scaling via ads, right? And it's, a very, it's probably the most common scaling tactic. It's definitely one that you've tried if you've ever had a winning product you definitely wanna go in there and scale your ads. Examples of ad scaling for e-commerce, you might just straight up increase your budget, right? Maybe you spend a little bit more per day. Maybe you add more ad sets, you go horizontal and find other people that might wanna buy that product, right? You can go international as well. Instead of just adding more ad sets, you add more countries, right? There's all these different ways to scale via your ads. And the cool thing about doing this is that you're not just gonna go right off the bat and scale your ads. You're gonna only scale when they're working. So you kind of are betting on things that you already know are working. You're not just gonna go in there and say, okay, I'm gonna spend $10,000 on a test. No, you're gonna have products that are working, you're gonna have ads that are working, you're gonna to start to scale them by spending more on them, giving more resource to them. And same thing with email, right? A lot of people will scale via email. And some really popular examples of email marketing scaling, sending smarter emails, right? Understanding your reports, understanding what uh, dictates your open rates to increase, right? Sending more emails, that's just a very basic thing, you're sending more. Running lead generation ads, so you get more email addresses to email to, right? Building your list, that's obviously super valuable. They often say you should be making at least a dollar per month in revenue for every single person on your list. Another thing you do is segment your email list and start personalizing your email. Send to your VIPs, send to people that haven't been to your store in a while, send to people that have ordered over five times, right? Tailor your email specifically. These are all different ways that you could scale via email. And another way, an often overlooked way, is scaling via systems, right? Common scaling tactic here, scale your systems, scale your operations, scale your processes. And some examples of that, let's say actually creating a detailed business plan, right? Maybe you're just kind of running off the cuff and you say, okay, this is really working. Let's kind of get into the detail. Let's figure out exactly the next steps that we need to do to take our business up another level or 10 levels. We can really scale that to the moon. Something else, setting 30, 60, 90 day, six month, 12 month goals, right? Actually having formulated goals out there where you're saying, okay, I wanna go and achieve a massive result. I wanna scale. What exactly am I gonna to try to scale to? You wanna have that set out at the beginning. That's an example of scaling via systems because you're actually building an operational process inside your business of achieving that goal and of course setting that goal in the first place. You can create a step-by-step -step manual for let's say advertising or customer service. You're basically systemizing your entire business, right? Making it step-by-step -step so anyone can come in and replicate it if you have employees, if you wanna scale your business large, if you wanna kind of do things like outsourcing and delegating, which you see on this list. Basically the idea of doing that is kind of scaling your operations to say, okay, I'm gonna take a step back and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna empower other people to do the important tasks. That could also be automation as well when you start to do things via code or anything that's kind of automatic that happens behind the scenes that frees you up to do other things. That's also a way to scale via system. So those are all the great things, right? And of course, like I said, scaling is one of the best parts of the business. But now I'll talk about some of the risks that you might run into when you scale. And remember, you're only gonna scale when you have 2020 hindsight. What does that mean? You're only gonna scale when something is working, okay? If something is working, you're gonna do more of it. If something's not working, you're not gonna scale, okay? Scaling is not gonna fix your bad ads. and not gonna fix your bad product. Scaling only comes into play when you have a great product, okay? So this also means that when you do scale, it's crunch time, right? This is when you need to be on the top of your game. You can't just be you know, half-assing this. You need to understand fully and 100% Right? You need to know what's going on. You need to have a system implemented and you can't just be scaling blindly. That's a really easy way to lose money and lose resource. So some pitfalls of that, right? Obviously managing cash flow. If you're scaling your ads, if you're scaling your employees, or if you're scaling your products, right? Oftentimes that means money is gonna be on the line. That's why I'm saying you need to really 
dedicate your time and your resource and your attention and really build these systems because you're putting your money at risk during a scale, okay? You might also need to manage more team members. You might need to execute under pressure. Again, there's money on the line. This is the time when you're making sales. You don't wanna just all of a sudden screw up the strategy, right? You need to execute under pressure and this is on you to perform, right? You need to move fast during a scale. You can't just sit on your thumbs and say, okay, this product sold five today. Well, let me just cross my fingers and hope it sells 100 tomorrow, right? You need to move fast and perform the actions that are gonna go through your little systems and your operations to achieve those goals that you set and then you need to also dedicate and, and put at risk your own time, your own resources. This is not only money, but your effort, your emotions, right? There's gonna be money at risk. It's gonna be stressful, right? You need to dedicate resources, time, your own energy to the scale. And if you don't, you can definitely wind up in a bad spot. If you wanna scale your business correctly, if you wanna take advantage of the opportunities that I was talking about, I want you to take this seriously and I wanna invite you to this 100% free masterclass to learn all about how to scale your product business. Now, first of all, I want you to take a look at the link below this video. Totally free to sign up, totally gonna to be worth your time. And what you're gonna learn inside, first of all, you're gonna learn how to scale your product business. And we're gonna go over different things like how to increase revenues by six figures and more, right? And not only that, but doing so without adding more stress to your life, right? That's, again, one of the pitfalls of scaling that you're gonna to need to dedicate your own time, your own resource, um, you know, a, a lot of your energy and a lot of your, um, you know, 100% dedicated attention to scaling. We're going to teach you how to do that without adding the stress to your life because no one needs that. We're going to show you how to spend less on product and double or even triple your sales, right? Show you how to get crystal clear projections on your income, right? Again, we're talking about systems, operations, right? Having a, a true understanding of your numbers and how your business works, right? That's one of the biggest things that you're going to learn from this masterclass, really how to get a hold of what your business is saying based on the numbers, right? You're going to get out of the, uh, or how to end the ordering mayhem. You're not going to have to ever worry about kind of dealing with stock issues. You know, you're, you're going to also understand how to reduce inventory, free up hard cash. Basically, so the idea is you're not going to just have money sitting in a closet or a warehouse collecting dust. We want to uh, automate that as much as possible. Go light on inventory when we can. I'm going to show you how to win back five, 10, even 20 hours every week of your own time, right? Scaling does not have to be a drain on your resource. This is not going to uh, take up more of your time. In fact, this is going to free up your time by really, like I said, implementing operations and systems and processes that support your scaling efforts, right? And overall, just in terms of your, you know, your kind of viewpoint on scaling and increasing your business, how to systemize it, right? How to process it, right? How to make it so it's not a burden to your business, but how to systemize everything with ease, making it step by step so then you could actually step away, you could outsource, you could delegate. And again, your business won't go down in flames just because you don't want to dedicate 35 hours a day to it, right? You need to outsource and delegate, right? We all can't multiply the amount of hours in a day, unfortunately, I'm sure I'd love to. But the, you know, the bottom line is that when you, system, uh, when you systematize your business, when you create those processes, right, you literally free up your own time. So those are some of the keys. And just again, you see, you can literally register right on this page. There are different classes running at all times. You're gonna learn the actual, the real game plan uh, that Lane put together. And uh, I really think it's one of the best things that uh, you can kind of implement in there. There's a lot of different benefits as well. And again, you could just register, you can take a look through here. You know, Lane is one of my good friends in this business, um, really knows everything about sales trends. Just a great deal of certifications and all that great stuff. But really the bottom line is when she works with businesses and I've worked with her firsthand, Right? It's really just about understanding your product business, understanding what they're doing or what the numbers are saying that you're doing. So you have a full grasp on the business, right? You can never scale, you can never systematize, you can never create processes without fully understanding your business. So I promise you, you're gonna get a ton of value out of this class. It's 100% free. You see the link directly below this video. Uh, all you need to do is just click on there, register. Um, I've taken this for sure. Uh, uh, and I know it's going to benefit you. And like I said, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain, especially if you're in a position where you really want to scale your business. And I hope I'm talking to every single person who's watching this video right now. Everyone should always be in the mindset of needing to scale the business. And of course, you know, like I said before, we can't, we're not going to have 35 hours in a day. We need to systematize our scale, right? We can't get stressed out by scaling. One of the first things I said, scaling should be your reward in this business, right? And once you really understand all the different processes around that, you're going to have the confidence to go out there and crush it. Again, this is a 100% free class that we're putting together, Lane Booth and myself. And I'm just going to show you some of the great testimonials. Uh, you know, a, a children's book publisher, $40,000 reduction in inventory costs after working with Lane. And you can click through some of these other ones. Women's subscription box directly in the e-commerce space, right? Doubles revenue in 12 months. I mean, you know, that's a... <laughs> 
uh, a, a ridiculous uh, result in a 12-month period. High-end fashion boutique achieves better than ever profit margins. We're talking about increasing our profit margins while increasing our sales, right? Scaling and increasing margins. Definitely a, uh, a, a trick that you'll want to attend the masterclass solely for. It's super hard to do. And Candle Company fires up record-breaking event sales, right? Literally being able to kind of uh, uh, call out cash for events uh, kind of on demand. And that's another powerful technique that uh, Lane has done and plenty of other testimonials in there. Uh, but really, like I said, make sure you click on the link below this video. It's 100% going to be worth your time. Uh, I promise you that 100% free class. And uh, you're really going to learn that five step strategy to uh, grow your business, to scale correctly, to understand the systems, to understand all the processes. And uh, I can't recommend it any higher. And like I said, promise you that it's worth your time. So please click on that link directly below this video. Leave me a comment after you take a, uh, uh, some time to go through the class. I'd love to hear what you think about it. love to hear how you're going to be scaling. And uh, most importantly, I hope this video and this free masterclass that Lane and I put together help you profit, help you make more money. That's the most important thing. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you real soon.